From the Global Times, a Chinese state-run newspaper has accused the United States of a near collision between a U.S. guided missile cruiser and a Chinese warship in the South China Sea. Well, this as tensions rise in both the South China Sea and the East China Sea over territorial disputes and competing air defense identification zones. We have more. The Global Times says that for a long period of time, the term freedom of navigation has become an excuse for the U.S. military to harass the legal movements of China's naval vessels near the China coast. China claims all islands and archipelagos in the South China Sea as its own and regards the maritime region as China's exclusive economic zone. Reports say the USS Cowpens confronted a PLA tank landing ship in the South China Sea when trying to monitor the movements of China's aircraft carrier, the Liaoning. At one point, reports add that the distance between two vessels was less than 1,500 feet. At that time, reports say the primary mission for the USS Cowpens was to conduct surveillance of the Liaoning, which is China's first aircraft carrier. Last month, the Liaoning sailed from its home port in Qingdao to the South China Sea via the Taiwan Strait to conduct training exercises. The near miss was reportedly the most significant U.S.-China maritime incident in the South China Sea since 2009. Heightened tensions over China's military assertiveness have raised concerns that a minor incident in disputed maritime waters could quickly escalate. Both Japan and China lay claim to islands in the East China Sea and have scrambled aircraft in recent months over the seas and conducted naval patrols.